Hello, and welcome to the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design's admissions presentation. The information in this video pertains to undergraduate students hoping to enter into IU for the fall 2022. My name is Carissa Garlitz, and I am the recruitment and admissions person for the Eskenazi School. Let's get started. Your very first step to gain admission to Eskenazi will be to apply and be admitted to IU Bloomington. Once you complete this step, you will fall under one of two categories, which will determine what pathway you enter into the school. The two categories an admitted Eskenazi intended student may fall under are either a direct admit student or a university division student. Let's go over the differences between the two. A direct admit student begins their first year as an official Eskenazi student. They are advised and meet with their major academic advisor throughout their first year. For example, if you are a merchandising major, you would meet with our merchandising advisor. Similarly, if you are an interior design major, you would meet with our interior design advisor and so on. Another perk of being a direct admit student is having the option to declare a second major or minor during your first year if that is something you know you want to pursue right away. If you begin as a university division student or pre Eskenazi school student, there are certain criteria you need to fulfill before you enter the school. University division students are advised by university division advisors. These advisors meet with, with students across the many different majors at IU, whereas your major advisor only meets with students within their specifically assigned majors. Finally, university division students would need to be admitted or certified into a school before they can declare a second major or minor. The greatest difference between the two categories is having access to your major advisor during your first year. Please keep in mind that our Eskenazi School academic advisors are very open and willing to meet with our university division students throughout their first year. Simply reach out to them once you are on campus and they will be very happy to supplement your university division advising experience. The most important takeaway from this comparison is that no matter which category you fall under during your time at IU, you will have the same course access and continue on the same curriculum track for your major. That means that both direct admit and university division students have equal access to our courses and they follow the same course track to complete their major. Now let's talk about the different pathways into the Eskenazi School. As stated before, your first step will be to apply to Indiana University Bloomington. You may apply in one of two ways. You may apply with the Apply IU application or through the Common application. Don't forget, IU has adopted a test optional policy, which means you have the option of whether or not to submit standardized test scores with your application. Once admitted to IU Bloomington, there are three different pathways to becoming an Eskenazi School student. You may enter through direct admission, our petition process, or through a certification process through the university division. I will explain each pathway in detail. Let's begin with direct admission. Direct admission is another way of saying automatic admission to the Eskenazi School. If you meet or exceed our direct admission criteria when you apply and are admitted to IU Bloomington, you will automatically be offered direct admission and you will be notified by email about four to six weeks after you have been admitted to IU Bloomington. For the fall 2022 term, the Eskenazi School direct admission criteria is simply having a 3.6 or higher high school GPA. We will use the GPA that is listed on your official high school transcript that is submitted with your IU application. If your high school provides a weighted GPA on your transcript, we will accept it. The second pathway is also through direct admission, but through our petition process. Let's say you do not have a 3.6 or higher GPA, but you are very close. Student, students within this scenario may submit a petition requesting a committee to grant them a secondary review. The petition requires you to submit a short essay explaining why you should be granted direct admission. 
There is also an opportunity to submit a portfolio if you have some pieces you would like to share with us. Once submitted, you will hear a decision from the committee within four to six weeks. If granted, your status changes to a direct admit of the Eskenazi school. If denied, you will begin your first year as a pre-Eskenazi school student within the university division. The final and third pathway to becoming an Eskenazi school student is through certification through the university division. As a university division student, you will need to complete certain criteria or milestones in order to become what we call certified into the Eskenazi school. This process typically takes students anywhere from one to three semesters, depending on their situation. Let's go through the process together. The first step is to complete 26 college credit hours. The average first year student completes about 30 credit hours by the end of their spring semester. Some incoming students bring credit with them through AP, IB, or even dual credit courses, and these incoming credits count towards the needed 26. In this case, a student might complete these criteria after just one semester. The next step is to complete the English composition requirement. This means you need to finish an introductory course to college writing with a grade of C or higher. Some students may be exempt from these criteria if they meet the following standards. They received a score of 710 or higher on the SAT evidence-based reading and writing section, or they received a score of 32 or higher on the ACT English component. If you took either AP English Composition and Literature or AP English Language and Composition and received a four or five on the AP exam, you may also be excused from taking this course. The final step is to maintain a 2.0 or higher GPA in all of your college coursework prior to becoming certified. Once these three criteria have been completed, a student will, will receive an email notifying them they have been automatically certified into the Eskenazi School. This happens three times throughout the academic year in October, February, and June. If you meet these criteria by the end of your fall semester in the first year, you may be certified and begin your spring semester as an Eskenazi School student. However, most students will finish these criteria at the end of the spring semester of their first year. Those are the three pathways to becoming an Eskenazi School student. Again, I want to reiterate that no matter which pathway you enter, all of our courses are open to students pursuing our majors, no matter what stage or category they may be at. Now, let's touch on an important factor that sets the Eskenazi School apart from other institutions. We do not require a portfolio for admission to IU Bloomington or the Eskenazi School. There will only be three instances where you may submit a portfolio. The first is if you choose to include one with your petition for direct admission. The second is if you decide to apply for any of our scholarships. The third is if you decide to apply to our Studio Art BFA program, but most students are not eligible to apply until their second year at Eskenazi. I encourage you to watch our video about the Studio Art program if you are interested in learning more about our BFA. The last bit of information I want to share with you is important deadlines. IU Bloomington's first deadline is our early action, non-binding deadline of November 1st. Students interested in being considered for scholarships will want to be sure to submit a complete application before this date. This is the deadline for highest scholarship consideration. The next deadline is our regular decision deadline of February 1st. After February 1st, applications will only be accepted on a space available basis. Please contact IU Admissions directly if this scenario applies to you. Thank you for taking time to learn more about our admissions process. Be sure to connect with us on social me media to see what our students and faculty are creating and accomplishing.